everybody, it's teacher Melissa here from MelissaMillsOnline.com. On my channel you will find videos all about teaching and tech. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the newest online teaching information. Today's video I'm going to show you how I use OBS and Google Slides for VIP Kid and I use these in my classrooms. Tonight I am teaching three classes. And so I'm going to come to this page in the portal and I am going to highlight my classes. I'm hitting control C that is to copy this information. I'm going to come over to my Google Slides planner. If you have no idea what the Google Slides planner is, please join the Google Slides Facebook group. It is not owned by me, um, but this is where I learned. I am totally self-taught for digital rewards and I learned through the OBS Facebook group and the Google Slides Facebook group. So it's very doable to learn this all on your own. Once I got in the Google Slides Planner, I'm going to hit Control V and then I'm going to hit Start Planner and it's going to run my planner script for magic <laughs> here. Um, I am teaching these three classes. These are not the real student's names, so I don't feel like I'm violating any of their privacy here. First, I'm going to teach Momo. He's in level three, and I'm going to teach Coco, who's in level two, and Ivan, who is in level one. I actually need to go back and do one thing because I'm teaching Ivan. He's an interactive level one, and in my planner, I need to type an I here to get the best results. So I'm going to run that again. There are two levels ones. There's an interactive and a non-interactive. Okay, so now we have it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I have some favorite people in my planner that I just like their work, but everyone does uh, great things in here. And it is all for free, although I do suggest you make a donation because these ladies have worked very hard. I think they're all ladies. I haven't seen any um, products by men yet, but there may be some. Okay, so I'm going to go over to Momo. I'm going to open this browser. It's called Opera. I'm going to open two browsers. Um, one is for digital rewards and one is for props. So it may take just a second to load. These are going to be tiny windows. I like to put my rewards on the top and my props on the bottom. I'm right clicking on Opera here and I'm going to do a new window so that I have two windows here. And as you can see, they're very tiny on the side of my screen. So I'm going to open three tabs because I'm teaching three students. This top box is for digital rewards. I'm gonna open three tabs on the bottom and these are for props. Okay, so Momo, um, if you can see this part is props. I tend to use things by Beth Pender. It's just my personal style, although it is not criticizing anybody else's work. So I'm gonna control C that. I'm gonna go back. This is my bottom window. This is gonna be Momo. Momo is learning all about the calendar here. I'm going to go back to my planner and I'm going to go to Coco. Coco, see we're in the props section. And sometimes it does take a, just a second for things to load. Okay. I'm going to copy that. Control C is all I'm hitting. Control V to paste. And I am on a PC, not a Mac. Um, at this time, I hear OBS doesn't have a camera plugin for a Mac. I'm going to grab Ivan here. These are props. Ivan is learning all about numbers. Control C that. I'm going to drop that in here with Control V. Okay, so I have all my digital props. Now, I do use the digital props. A digital prop, I don't use every single slide in these. Um, 
I use them when a student is struggling to understand something. So I'm going to go back and grab some rewards now. Let's see. I like to switch these up and I usually look through most of these. Um, days of the week, what's missing? SpongeBob SquarePants, Dino, Adventures, Days of the Week, Find a Star, um, Days of the Week, Jeopardy. Ooh, this student I have is pretty smart. So let me see what this Jeopardy one is about here. Oh, he earns money for answering questions. How many days are in there in the week? I like this one because my student is kind of advanced and he will do good with this. I've taught this student a lot. All right, so he's the first person I'm teaching. The reason I'm putting them in this order is because after I teach this child's class, I can click on the X and the tab goes away and the second student will be right there and ready to go. Um, <laughs> my little Coco is a wonderful, wonderful, uh, very active student. She's super fun to teach and she is actually pretty advanced too. She might like pick a pup. Let's see. Okay. Oh yeah. I think she'd like this and she would be able to see, say these words too. Okay. So I'm putting her on the second tab because she's a second class at teach. And last when I'm looking at Ivan here, they don't have any rewards and he's learning about numbers and he's pretty smart. He's learning about numbers and fruit. And I know that because I've been teaching him for quite a few weeks. So I'm going to go over to the rewards tab here and I am going to hit control F. I'm going to type in numbers. He's doing numbers to 10 in his lessons, but he honestly knows, um, higher than 10. He's a pretty smart level one. So anything highlighted green, like this is claw machine numbers. Claw machines like aren't really my favorite, although they are kind of neat. Um, let me see. So I'm going to click on the claw machine. I'm going to drop down. How many do you see? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Okay, he might be able to do this. That he might be able to do this. Two duck. Oh, is there one in the back there? Hmm. All right, that might be something he's able to do. I could keep looking for more in here that are highlighted green that says older student and larger numbers. So he's a level one. He's not going to be able to do that. I think he can maybe do the claw machine. He's pretty Right, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it back on slide three because I don't want it like in the middle of the thing. Control C it. I'm going to pull up my um, rewards. Control V. I always have a fourth one. It was up. It always stays up. It's high fives in case something's going awry with my rewards. So once I teach student one's class, um, if you want to see how I set it up here, let me get off of this. <laughs> if you want to see how I set it up, I will minimize my VIP kid window. This is the web browser, but I would really be in the um, app. So I would do my class like this. My props are down here. This is my first class. And then my rewards are up here. So I would be teaching in this window here. My class would be here. And um, I use something called hotkeys in OBS to switch um, in between my rewards and digital props. And you can learn all about that in videos in the OBS group. But I'll give you a little 
a little scene right here. Um, I come into my rewards, Windows Capture. I'm going to capture the rewards. Okay. And then I'm going to come into my explanations, which are my props. I'm going to do Windows Capture. I'm going to capture the um, props. So if the child is having trouble conjugating the word come, I would use this slide. So um, I use something called hotkeys. I set mine up with the Alt key. You have to be careful because the Alt key will freeze you if you just press the Alt key. But you can make combinations of keys. And so if I'm in the classroom, the student will see me just like this in the regular VIP kid window. And then let's say I say, okay, great, you get to play a game. I hit Alt R for mine. And there, the student will see this in the window where the teacher usually goes. And then I um, just click on it and the question will come up. I wouldn't click on OBS window. I have to actually click in the side window. So I'd have to click in this window for the student to see it. And then the question would come up um, and I would ask them and then I hit that again and they would see this. There are very cool things you can do. Woohoo, you get a star, you get a star. Yay, five stars. Every time you give them a star, not doing so good, I can make the stars disappear. You know, lots of fun things um, that you can do in OBS. So. If you're just curious about it, this wasn't intended to be a tell-all video. Um, just a little brief overview of some things that you can do. So make sure you join the OBS Facebook group and the Google Slides Facebook group so you can learn how to do all of these really cool things in OBS. If you're on a Mac, you might use CamTwist or Minicam. I'm not as familiar with those, but I plan on getting a Mac, so... Once I do, I'll be learning all of those things also. All right, guys, if you haven't even joined VIP Kid, you need a mentor or a coach for VIP Kid, Go Go Kid, or Out School, please look down in the YouTube description box and use my links or codes if you're not even on YouTube, or you just want to email me and ask me some questions, melissamills at rocketmail.com. Bye, guys. Happy teaching.